Hey there everyone, Redneck Brian here. Quick uh, update video on a few different things. Uh, I'm going to be doing another video later, but uh, completely different topic. But I thought I'd do a quick update. Let me shut the diesel off on this tractor. First time really it's ran in about two or three weeks. I had it running briefly yesterday. It fired right up. Didn't even have to charge the battery. But um, the kids weren't out of school quite yet and uh it was pretty smoky so uh i had to shut it off pretty quick but um as you can see it runs pretty good no issues with this i'm just doing a little bit of cleanup it's not as uh mucky out here anymore which is nice um getting together some scrap i tried to sell these guys i'm probably just gonna end up scrapping them um they're pretty much junk i'm working on my uh stereo system for the shop more on this in a later video as you can see it's changed quite a bit as you can see amps a lot of wiring so on and so forth here is Shania you want her back up to you yeah. right. here's Shania and Emily loves her dogs and Emily Hills world links will hopefully be in the description but um, just working on this here quickly uh, then I got to uh, change out the carburetor on the truck I was thinking about doing the engine this weekend, but uh, I don't think I'm going to get to it this weekend. Um, I want to dry fit it, or at least um, put it side by side and see roughly where the exhaust is going to hit. But I think I'm going to have to do a custom exhaust on this. I don't think that muffler is going to fit. The uh, tractor that this came off of, as you guys know, had a uh, higher hood. Um, I got a few different options for the exhaust, but um, anyway it goes. Um, I'll pretty much have to dry fit the engine, so pull out the Briggs, put the Kohler in there, dry fit it, and um, see what has to be cut, if, any ha if anything has to be cut, and uh, make sure all the bolts line up. Everything should line up. It's, it has, this has dual bolt patterns, so all that should line up perfectly fine, but the um, only real thing I'm worried about is because the uh, engine that's going in here had the inch and the eighth shaft. Like I said, I'm pretty sure everything lines up correctly. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it on this. Uh, probably going to end up doing the carburetor on the Briggs engine in here this weekend, probably later on today. Uh, Shania's birthday tomorrow. She'll be two. So, and I got a solar panel up on the roof now. I did do a video a while back, but it did not. It didn't turn out quite right. So, um, I deleted it. But uh, as you can see, this is where the stereo system's going. I got more equipment for it in the house. Um, only thing I can say, only thing I'll say right now is I probably don't have enough power to run everything as it is right now, because I run everything off of uh, that battery right there. Pretty good battery, um, and then the solar charges it. So I'm just I just have it on the battery tender right now because the solar's been disconnected for about almost a week or so so but um hopefully this will be gone soon i'll be getting rid of scraps soon and um soon as the ground dries up a bit more getting into lawnmowers uh all this is obviously scrap except for that deck that engine is just parts it's not much left to it um that like i said that deck's not scrap i got another mower with a good engine that needs that deck but um, that's pretty much it for this quick update and quick shot of the diesel running over there. The racer, nothing has really changed on it. Um, yeah, that's all I can pretty much say. The tires I had bought for the front end don't work properly. So unfortunately, I can't lower down the front end too much more. A few people have suggested the body drop, but I want to keep it looking stock. And I like the way it looks. So I might just try and find different front tires still. We'll see. But, um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'll talk to you later. Please keep your redneck like always, and uh, please subscribe and comment.